down. Good, good. And up. Hi, and welcome to our channel. We've had another busy week. We still have Ollie and Diana with us, and we've been as busy as bees. We are finally getting our projects sorted in order of importance. But first, one and a so weeks ago, Luke started on this project. Alrighty, so this week I've been trying to think what I can do since I have help. There is uh, Ollie over there, big strapping young lad. <laughs> My mulch I thought I'd give it a rest for now since I have the manpower here to help. So we have decided to build an outdoor kitchen for the caravan and a bit of a chill out area. I'm going to use pine trees. I don't spend any money on wood so we're going to use trees and the roof is going to be so far it might change is going to be plastic um, I have the old canvas of the tent to protect the plastic and shade netting on top of that most probably but I do want to build it in mind so maybe in the future it will be strong enough to hold I don't know maybe corrugated maybe roof tiles so we'll definitely take that into consideration when building it especially the pitch and the strength the weight it can carry so we've identified the the trees we're going to use so now comes the fun part bringing them to sight We were talking about you meatball today, me and Ollie, <laughs> about how you're gonna react when we get his when we get the okay from the vet and we can take his apron off. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, meatball. Oh, yeah. Your time's coming, don't worry. Log run! <laughs> That's one. Two more from down there. So after all that heaving and hauling and sweating and moving logs up the hill we have decided not to start the outdoor kitchen as yet and I will tell you why. This year we will probably not get the rain that we normally get springtime and that is a little bit scary and it's also been forecasted that we're going to have a drought this year and that's even more scary for us who live in Portugal. Now if you don't know there's a lot of fires in summer in Portugal it's you practically hear about one on a daily basis and the most important thing leading up to summer is getting your property fire safe which is which is something we take very very seriously. So what have you got there Luke? <laughs> <laughs> I just came back from a, a friend of a friend messaged and asked if we could use <laughs> two of these which are like old school cylinders, yeah. I, I guess they don't use them anymore. There's still some gas in them. Um, I might release it, I'm not sure. I don't know if it, they don't know if it's good or not. I guess they found it in their ruin, I think, I don't know. But I can, I think of quite a few things I could make with this. Check that out. I've seen a guy make a really cool like suitcase out of it, out of one of these, really cool. Heavy <laughs> suitcase? Re no, but it, when it's empty, it's not as heavy, eh? yeah. and he made it. Anyway, um, <laughs> rocket mask stoves, there's loads of things, barbecues, loads of things you can do with them. Um, if any of you have any ideas, I've seen a cool YouTube video that I may, might not have. Just put it in the comments below and we'll see what we'll make with them. There's two. Awesome, eh? And I came back with a carload, so thank you very much, Stephen Gale. Thank you very much, Stephen Gale. These I thought uh, we could use them for animals, probably. I cut them in half. I'm sure I can think of many, many Definitely. things to do with them. They gave us um, a bag of passion fruit, even though they're not in season. She said they might be a bit sour, but we'll see. I'm sure I'll be able to make a coolie for 
Sarah's favourite dessert. Yummy! Panna cotta, Panna cotta. with a passion fruit coolie. <laughs> I'll just have to add tons of sugar, probably. Shall we just take everything out and then we take them to their, wherever we're going to put them? Yes. So, in, according to when I'm going to use them. Mm -hmm. We have a plan for that. <laughs> we though. have a plan. We've just decided we something. Plan. We really want to fence the gypsy caravan area with the garden. Number one, we want to protect the garden from the chickens. Number two, we want to protect our porch from the chickens <laughs> shit. Oops, poop, sorry. Um, we want to protect this place from the goats, so maybe we can start letting them out and they can stay near if we also protect the trees that are outside this boundary. Yeah. <laughs> La piece de resistance. Oh, it's blue. Is it blue? Mm -hmm. Check this out. So this will be the entrance pretty much where you're standing right now. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be the fence's door. Wow. How awesome it is. Wow. The lock, it still works. <laughs> Thank it? you so much. Yes, it does. I pulled it out, oh. so I guess I have to see, but it's it's not. <laughs> prove it, Luke, prove it. <laughs> I put it out twice. <laughs> I broke it already. Now, because of talk of the drought and also because we got this awesome door and because we have a lot of huge logs around the area where we actually stay, that is a big fire risk. And also because Ollie is really good at organizing projects, we have decided to stop planning the outdoor kitchen for now and go on to something a little bit more important. We have approximately, where is it? 48 plus 53, so 101 meters. We're gonna go across the front and then down to the back wall there. And this one will just go straight for the stone wall up on the hill. And we're just gonna do them with this pine, which is another reason why I wanna do this now because of the drought. And if it doesn't rain in March and April, it's gonna be super, super dry this year. And that means the fire risk is gonna be much, much higher this year. So we're pretty worried about that. So we definitely want all this pine gone ASAP. I think we have enough. We're going to use the thinner pine as posts every two to two and a half meters. And um, we're going to paint them with this bitumen stuff I have, which is like totally impermeable. So no water can get into it and just pound them into the ground and then um, plank these, cut these into planks about an inch thick and have three of them. And then we can grab the metal, like this little green mesh fencing and we can cover the bottom so the chickens can't come in underneath the board. Um, also, Ollie here has been helping me with kind of organizing because I find one of the hardest things for me to do is to actually figure out what to do next and, and all, like just organizing and Ollie being uh, ex army army yeah army army yeah, as his hat can tell you yeah, some us marines but it doesn't matter <laughs> <Really? Yeah. laughs> uh, he was just showing me a few things that they teach them in the army i guess the mm -hmm. poop sheet yeah. poop sheet hot poop board Ho hot poop board yeah <laughs> i don't know how it got that name i hey? don't know i guess the name, but hot poop <laughs> everything that's hot off the press everything that you uh thing you need to do in the next week or month or something you put it on a board and you categorize it and prioritize it and then you can just visualize what you need what materials you need and if you've got everything in place and it just will help you organize your life a little bit easier rather than keeping it in your head so I definitely need something like that mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as Ollie has found out because <laughs> we're like going from land clearing which we're giving a bit of a break now because we want to get rid of this wood to setting up the caravan and now this and that's like Okay, let's see what we're going to do. We've got everything in a list now, so we're a bit more organized. Okay, I'm painting this with what they call pretty much cold tar which is an impermeable coating. We could use oil and burnt oil and diesel, I guess, but this is much better. It really seals it completely. So we're just painting the bottom bit that's going into the ground. And then we put them in the ground. Nice. Aye, aye. It's good stuff. It dries really quick. And I had it left over from a previous job. So might as well use it for now. Let's watch this one work. 
The grafter. Mm -hmm. Slow one. <laughs> the one with the hard job. <laughs> no power tools over here, guys. We're not worrying about the height because I do want to carve them into things or if I want to I can cut them all at the same size but for now we're going to leave them like that and then we'll see what we'll do in the future. Maybe an eagle. Any ideas? Or an owl. Comment. While you're at it like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> you know you want to. You know you want to. So now we need a treasure hunt. Goodness, they're so cute. Mm -hmm. I need something to empty this into. We nearly have six meters ready and we have 101 to do. I have been spending a lot less time with these guys and I do miss them, Amy. Well, you miss mommy. Jana works online, so she is pretty busy, but she still finds time to help us a lot around the farm. Apart from taking these guys out, she's doing a bunch of weeding and she's helping Luke whenever he needs help. She raked all the mulch that Luke made in his mulcher and she spread it evenly around those three huge terraces. And now those three terraces are almost ready and they're looking really good. Luke has been freehand chainsaw milling non-stop and this is the result all over the place. Jan has picked up a bunch of bags. I love this knowing that it's going to be mixed with our poop and then going to be something really good for our garden. Hey Molly! Thanks to Jana, thank you Jana. I have had more time to bond with my chickens and, every, and I love it. Every time I go close to them they all come running to me and now I think we have two cockroaches. I'm pretty sure they're two cockroaches. Their tails have just sprung up in the last two days and the others have remained the same. They haven't started crowing yet which is one of my favorite times. I will make sure I catch it on camera and show it to you guys when it happens because it is so cute. No? <laughs> Here comes Rio! <laughs> He's male for sure. Look at him. I plan to get really close to my cockroaches this time, even closer than Pip, because I had problems with one of my males in the past. Well, not only one, all of them. And now I plan to tame them, so they're really, really lovable. Hey, Rio, what do you think? So he is the cockroach we'll be keeping. His three colours, just like Molly, and I love him. Hey, okay, we can go inside now. You were doing it yesterday. Good! No? Okay. Maybe you're not right here. But you're definitely a boy. Even though my chickens are pretty friendly, I have never bonded quite so much. I'm trying to make it a point to pick them up 
every day because I want them to get used to me and I do not want to have a you know nasty cockerel like I had in the past so I'm trying to arrange that make them as friendly as possible so that doesn't happen we'll see how it goes when the caterpillar scare is over this is one of my favorite times of the year now the mimosa trees around us are getting their yellow flowers and even the sisters are getting their white flowers I saw two or three today and one of our stone fruit trees has pink flowers on it even the hawthorn trees are getting their leaves now they've been bare for a couple of months now and they're one of the goats favorite food so I'm really happy that they're starting to get their leaves this morning Luke and Ollie were working really hard on the fence I will just see what they are up to because Ollie and Diana are leaving today for the next three days so we'll be missing them but we'll be seeing them again on Monday Larry and Penny what are you doing here <laughs> it's like they came for a walk with us Looking good! <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Beauties. Beauties, they're coming. When Luke started yesterday, he was out of practice because he I hadn't done it for Look a few that. months. Wow. Beautiful. Three quarters of an inch, pretty much. And check out the others. Very one, nice. two, three, four, five, six, and I get one more out of this. So this and time, one more out of that. in the past, I just balanced the main log I was cutting on other logs. But yeah, this way is much, much better. So I dug a couple of holes and then screwed them in here into the knots. Wow, look at that. So at least it doesn't move while you're cutting. Look how professional. Yep. So now one more cut and over here, this, this big screw I'd probably cut till here and then take it off just so I don't hit it. Check out the fence and go and see what Ollie's doing. So what are you doing, Ollie? Sanding this old door that Luke got given and we're gonna use it as a new garden gate. Nice. On our new swanky fence. It's coming good, eh, the door? Mm-hmm. Now I have to build the frame for it. I was, I was <laughs> thinking cool. of doing it with epoxy, but now I've changed my mind. Um, yeah, we're just going to varnish it, paint that with, sand this down and paint it. All these bits. But I'm not going to say wasting a bunch of epoxy and money no to build the mould, you know, just run out door door like mm -hmm. this. I think it's going to look awesome. Here will be where we put the straw, we'll create a thing. Nice. Like yeah. a cover, so when he comes down, he can come and we just throw it in and cover Very it up cool. with the hay and straw. And I want to do all this along the fence that goes down there to organize all the stuff we get yep. given and find on the side of the road, you know, so it doesn't look like a junkyard. And for bottles. For bottles, yeah, cardboard. that's going to be on that side. So then we can bring the car around, fill up and, yeah, dispose of what we need to awesome. dispose of. Wow, what a good job, eh? Come to the corner post over here. And then we've got the long stretch from that all the way down to the border wall over there. So what do you guys think of the fence? It's looking pretty amazing, right? If you like it, give us a nice thumbs up. By Ollie, and we'll see them tomorrow, okay? <laughs> and Diana. <laughs> Looking good! <laughs> Any last words you want to say, Ollie? I just want to say that crossing is all in the hips and all in the knees. Off, <laughs> you know what would have been good, eh? A digger. <laughs> and he suggested it might make a pretty good t shirt. <laughs> Could do with a digger right now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Let's get this stuff out of the okay, car because I want to do some more mulching. Time lapse! <laughs> No, this door, not time lapse. Oh. Oh. Next week we are going to go down to the river and see how our broomsticks, broom, broomsticks, that's what they are, are getting on. 
in the water we'll be getting them up from the river and trying to do something with them and if you don't know what I'm talking about then I suggest you go and watch this video thanks for watching and have an awesome awesome week bye